Hey everyone, we're taking some notes today over 2J, which is evaluating expressions with decimals. If you recall, we did evaluate expressions back in Unit 1 with whole numbers, and so this will be the same procedure, except this time we will be um, evaluating decimals, evaluating with decimals. So if you recall, the procedure for this is um, that we're going to plug or substitute the value for the variable into the expression and then evaluate or find the value. And so when I have a problem like this, this is x plus 3 and 4 tenths for x equals 8 and 91 hundredths, my procedure is that I'm going to take this 8 and 91 hundredths and substitute it in for the x because we see that x and 8 and 91 hundredths are both equal, therefore they can replace each other. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my 8 and 91 hundredths and substitute that into the x. Now, in order to get full credit for my problems, I have to show that substitution. So my first step is to take the 8 and 91 hundredths and rewrite this problem, taking the x out and putting the 8 and 91 hundredths in. My second step then to get full credit is to show the work. So 8 and 91 hundredths plus 3 and 4 tenths. Since this is an addition problem, I am stacking up the decimal points and I'm filling in empty spaces with zeros, and then I'm just going to add straight down. 1 plus 0 is 1, 9 plus 4 is 13, carry my 1, bring that decimal point straight down, and then 8 and 3 is 11, plus 1 more is 12. And so here's my second necessary item to get full credit. I'm going to show my work, and then finally I like to write my answer down, and I like to circle it so that I can find it easily when I'm going back to check. All right, so let's look at our second problem here. 2 times y minus 2 and 12 tenths. And this time we want to replace y with 5 and 5 tenths. So I'm going to write my multiplication like this. I'm going to use parentheses to show that I'm multiplying. So this means 2 times 5 and 5 tenths. And after we do that, we're going to subtract 2 and 12 hundredths from this product. So my first step for one point there, I wrote, rewrote my problem with the substitution and now I'm going to work out the problem 5 and 5 tenths times 2. I always put the longer number on the top, it makes my multiplication easier. I ignore my decimal point until I'm done with the multiplication. So 2 times 5 is 10, put down my 0, carry my 1, 2 times 5 is still 10, plus 1 is 11, one number behind the decimal point in the problem, one number behind the decimal point in the answer. So 2 times 5 and 5 tenths is 11, and then from that 11 I'm going to subtract 2 and 12 hundredths. So I'm going to show that problem over here, 11 minus 2 and 12 hundredths. So there's no decimal point in 11, therefore I know that it's going to be after the last digit in that number, and then I'm going to add zeros to fill in as placeholders. I can't take 2 away from 0, so I have to borrow, but there's nothing here to borrow from. So I've got to borrow for this space from here. Borrowing 1, make that a 0. The 1 I borrow makes this a 10, and now I can borrow from this 10, making that a 9, and this a 10. 10 minus 2 is 8, 9 minus 1 is 8, and then 10 minus 2 is 8. And so my answer is 8 and 88 hundredths. And so I've shown my work, and I've shown my substitution, and I have my answer. All right, let's look at uh, one where we have two variables that we're replacing. So if we look at this next one, we've got m squared plus 2n, and the m is going to be 1 and 2 tenths, and the n is going to be 4. So I substitute my 1 and 2 tenths in for my m, and my 4 in for my n. So I'm going to take 1 and 2 tenths and we'll square that and then to that we're going to add 2 times 4. According to the order of operations I want to do my exponents first. So 1 and 2 tenths times 1 and 2 tenths. I'm ignoring the fact that I have a decimal there right now. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2, Moving over a digit, so add a zero. If I moved over two digits, I'd have to add two zeros. One times two is two, and one times one is one. Add everything up, and we've got four, four, one, two numbers behind the decimal point, 
So we have 1 and 44 hundredths. And we're adding then 2 times 4, which is 8. So it's 1 and 44 hundredths plus 8. All right. 8 doesn't have a decimal point in it, so I'm going to put 1 at the end of that number. And we're adding 1 and 44 hundredths. Add in a couple of zeros for placeholders. Remember that it's an addition problem. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 0 is 4. Bring that decimal point down. 8 plus 1 is 9. And so my answer is 9 and 44 hundredths. All right, let's look at the next problem here, number 4. Number 4 is 2 and 2 tenths times the sum of s and t. And over here it tells us that s is 9 and t is 8 and 14 hundredths. And so we're going to rewrite that problem, substituting the 9 in for the s and the 8 and 14 hundredths in for the t. So 2 and 2 tenths times s is 9 and t is 8 and 14 hundredths. Now I could write this this way. That x to me is a little bit confusing because I look at that and I'm like, is that a variable? Is that a multiplication symbol? What is that? So another way to write this is 2 and 2 tenths times 9 plus 8 and 14 hundredths. You could even put a little dot there if you wanted to to show that that's multiplication. So according to my order of operations, I have to add uh, what's in the parentheses first. We do parentheses first. And so I have 9, decimal point after the 9, and I'm adding 8 and 14 hundredths. Add a couple of zeros there for placeholders. Remember that I'm adding. 0 plus 4 is 4. 1 plus 0 is 0. Bring my decimal point down. 9 and 8 is 17. And so inside my parentheses, we have 17 and 14 hundredths. And now we're going to take that 17 and 14 hundredths and multiply it by 2 and 2 tenths. So 17 and 14 hundredths times 2 and 2 tenths. Again, we want the longer number on the top. It makes our multiplication a shorter problem. I'm ignoring the fact that there's decimals in this problem until the very end. I didn't line up the decimals on purpose. Just the way I wrote it happened to kind of look like they're lined up. So 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. Put my 4 down, carry my 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. Moving over a digit, so add a 0 here as a placeholder, and do that all again, right? 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. Put my 4 down, carry my 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. And now add everything up. 8. 10, put down a 0, carry a 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, and 3. And now I care about those decimals. 1, 2, 3 numbers behind the decimal point in the problem. So 1, 2, 3 numbers behind the decimal point in the answer. And so my final answer then is 37 and 708 thousandths. All right, you try the next two and then tune in for the last video to see how you did on those two.